Welcome everyone to another live update here from our office. I guess we are live. I wanted to shortly talk about this Apple small business program um, of only giving them 15% an increase of your small business revenue of uh, 22 or so percent. And because I previously wondered um, and probably maybe said in a previous video, why do they not just give it automatically to all of them, right? So, and also the whole internet and even Apple published there some, yay, developers are happy. And even on Twitter, people wrote like, yay, the year was uh, not, the, the year was hard for me with all the COVID and, and lost sales and stuff. And um, this is exactly what we need. Um, said other small developers on Twitter. And I said at that day already, it's like, yeah, but they're not giving you that. So not to survive the end of the year, the holiday and Christmas seasons, like, yeah, of course, they give it to you later. Um, so multiple things right now, I think it's really, first of all, it took Apple a decade, right? It took, it's, it's not like Apple is doing this voluntarily. It took a decade of complaints and probably worldwide antitrust um, preparations for lawsuits in the US and Europe. So it's not like Apple always, people always like, yay, the amazing, super nice Apple is like, no, they're not doing this voluntarily. If there would not be that much pressure, they would not have done this in another decade or two. It took them a decade, right? The App Store is one decade old. Um, even the Mac App Store, probably six, seven or whatever years. So long, 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 long time, multi, multiple billions of uh, money already rolled down that uh, road. And so, yeah, and then, so I said already last month, it's not nice from Apple of not doing this automatically. If, if Apple would finally wanted to be super nice to small individual and small team business app store people, they could have done it instantly and they could have definitely done it before Christmas and the holiday season, um, but they haven't. And it's not automatic, right? So it's not, I would think if you are a small developer and Apple finally wanted to support you a little bit more. They could have just done it like you automatically, right? It's not hard for a computer to program. Um, we have computers, right? We, we got this uh, also too many focus. Um, it's like, yeah, um, app store lure. And like if uh, last year total, uh, total of the best with all typos, uh, less than one million then uh, and and then um, if less than it's like um, whatever you get the idea of uh, commission equals 30 percent and otherwise then commission equals 15 right it's not like you need a full um, full uh, department of uh, that. But yeah, you need to apply. So not only is it instant, not only, not, not only is it not instant, not only is it not at the end of the year of, of, of a very difficult year for many people, not only is it not before just the Christmas sales, it's not even freaking automatic. So you need to enroll like, hey, dear developer, you may want to enroll not to the Apple store small after we took hundred thousand, if not millions dollar from you that you couldn't use for your own business and employees there for a decade. Like now you may enroll and uh, simply enroll by uh, also yeah Unicode. We got, we got this Unicode email. It's amazing, right? Um, 18th. Um, so enroll before uh, December 18th um, be to receive this program benefits from January the 1st. So let's do this right live on this channel. Enroll to the Apple store, App Store, small business program to help accelerate innovations like yeah, after a decade, after a decade and taking billions from developers. Thank you for helping us also helping to accelerate, right? Uh, this App Store did not, I said this before. I said this before, exact scan. The App Store did not accelerate. They only took they only put roadblocks in your app release process. Otherwise, you, you did an amazing app, you could release it. Like, and, and also fake news and people spreading some 
food, right? Like small companies could not spread their stuff like, yeah, startups like Airbnb or uh, food delivery, whatever, or all the other like Uber and whatnot. They could not host the app themselves, right? They could not develop an app and host the freaking app for download like an good old application. What is the problem to download your app from exactscan.com slash your iPhone app? It's like, yeah. anyway, so they did not accelerate. They did deaccelerate innovation by reviewing all the stuff for the users and security, by the way, not recurring theme here with all the peak bugs and security vulnerabilities, uh, even in the app store signature verification and other such stuff. But anyway, I digress. Individual developer forward with the next generation of groundbreaking apps. Also, after a decade, <laughs> after a decade, the next generation of groundbreaking. Also, by the way, what is groundbreaking, right? The next Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Snapchat, and, and mobile game, and yeah, super groundbreaking innovation stuff. Anyway, the program provides a reduced commission rate of 15% on paid apps and in-app purchases for developers with an associated account that earns up to 1 million US dollar in annual proceeds. So also, uh, by the way, so first you, you have reviewed and accepted the paid application agreement schedule too. Also, yeah, recurring theme, you constantly need to accept. So also, why do they ask? They should have this on file, right? I'm, I'm already logged in here. I, I just... Um, edited the HTML a little bit, not to disclose here some stuff, so there was obviously some other number, but <laughs> big companies, right? We got this, not, it's like, yeah, you need to, yes, I have to accept this, it's like, could they not check this automatically? It's like, you need to accept this because um, I probably wanted to say, not sure, how does it look? Uh, can we also detach that here, please? Um, one second, I just need to uh, move that you over to check if we, uh, oops, what if we, ah, this was, sorry, managing a tight window manager, not easy in 2020. Um, that's what you get when you run a tight window manager. Um, because it's anyway a noise uh, hell quite a lot of me that uh, you constantly get to sign new contracts, right? Every quarter there is some stupid change and you need to accept that. And the problem is, um, I, I only make the extra effort to look this up because um, it's like, yeah, um, Oh, obviously, I so I've not accepted this yet, and you need to go to the tax and banking module, which is uh, agreements, tax and banking. Let me just see if there, because the problem is there's always all our no numeric uh, stuff. Um, can I so and this is how this looks in this amazing web management stuff, and then you need to click the view, agree, and because the problem is that you can't even upload any apps, right? So this is. Uh, super annoying and, and also a little bit questionable stuff that you can't, you, you can't continue your business and provide updates and stuff because in order to update your existing apps, create new in-app purchases and submit new apps to the app store, the user with legal with, uh, with a legal role account holder must review and accept the paid stuff. And so they have this, it's, it's not like once, it's like each freaking quarter. Anyway, and so one other point I wanted to raise, so not Apple is really the, the whole bitch here, Louis, Louis Rossmann of not being the um, a half bitch, but even a, a whole bitch because so not, not only do they not make this automatic, not only do they not make this instant, but also, yeah, do you know why they don't make this automatic? This, this explains why it's not automatic. This was actually the, the major point of this video because um, to ensure, uh, it here, yeah, to ensure all Participants are fully eligible as small business. You need to list all your associated developer accounts. So it's like, ha, you are not making two companies. No, 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 no. I wonder, by the way, maybe, maybe, maybe you can make three companies. So you want to save, you, you have three apps. You, you have one app, you, you like create three developer accounts because this is, by the way, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So no, 
you are not going over start. You're not cashing in some extra 50,000 or 100,000 US dollar from this program. No, 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 no. If you have more than one developer account um, or, or business sense, like no, you're not splitting your business to cash in hundreds of thousands of more. No, no, not with Apple. You need to list all your associated developer accounts. An associated developer account is an Apple developer program account that you own or control or an Apple developer program account that owns or controls your account to help determine if you have this type of account answer the following questions. Also, by the way, Apple, there is a please missing, right? Please. I thought you, you Americans are so good with please. And um, anyway, uh, do, do you have a majority over 50%? Also, we need to explain this, right? Majority over, by the way, we mean 50%, over 50%. Corporate individual or partnership interest in the ownership or shares of another. So if you hold, um, if you have shares in another company, um, uh, your, your friend's company and stuff, um, of another Apple App Store program, does another Apple developer program member have majority 50% corporate individual or partnership interest in the ownership or shares of your account? Do you have uh, ultimate decision-making authority over another Apple developer? It's like, yeah, but anyway, uh, pro tip, uh, if you want to cash in some extra hundred thousands, uh, if you have like, if you have one puzzle that makes 900,000, if you have some other uh, productivity thing, then like just split your business. Don't tell Apple, name it under ABC, answer this with no, but um, you didn't hurt it here and I, I'm not a lawyer and don't get caught and I guess that's it for this video. <laughs> um, it's hilarious and yeah, anyway, um, in case you were wondering, that is, uh, that is probably the thought process. Um, and, and also, by the way, you need to t confirm Apple, to the best of your knowledge, you and your associated developer accounts earn no more than 100,000 US dollar in total proceeds, sales net of Apple commission and certain taxes or and adjustments during the 12 fiscal months occurring in the 2020 calendar year. For the, the information provided above is accurate. Also, which you probably, if you follow the tip of pro tip of previously. Anyway, by the way, uh, one last thing as people like one last thing, one last thing if you made it so far into the video of uh, 13 minutes of uh, App Store amazingness. By the way, if you want to further read why the App Store is a total uh, crap load of shit for developers, uh, then we have here this website for you, um, which somehow also detached for no good reasons. I probably I pressed, pressed the wrong button here. Uh, too long didn't read uh, manual update reviewed by Apple. App Store does not provide paid up, uh, support paid updates. Apple takes 30%, soon 15 for small stuff. A sustainable free updates forever with no updates and stuff and also subscriptions and a lot of... And, and Anyway, but um, last but not least, um, this thing is still a little bit unfair in my opinion. 50% um, certainly more reasonable thing. I, I would argue that because previous video, right, T2 released and PR, because Apple is doing nothing, right? People, user and fanboys always say, but Apple is doing so much stuff. It's like, no, GCC was written by others. LLVM Clang was mostly written. Sure, Apple picked it up, but mostly written by others. Um, the foundation of macOS, Mach, microkernel of universities in the 90s and BSD user land and sure there's some UI sugar on top of it, but now. Nah. Apple is not doing any marketing for you, right? For 30%, if you have 30% commission of a, or at a retailer, um, they might do some marketing, they might do some recommendations, they might do some after sales support and services. Apple is doing nothing, right? You still need to marketing. For 30%, you get nothing. Uh, basically, in my opinion, well, you get some hosting, but now, is some hosting of your application downloads really worth it? Um, and... Um, the still a little bit, in my opinion, it's <clears throat> the. I would argue this a million dollar threshold is still it's similar to the German tax system of the more or maybe the US is similar. The more income you have, the more percentage you pay. However, in in Germany, this is some somewhat gradual curve thing, at least somewhat uh, approximation wise. But because the problem is right, if you are a small business and you crush cross this threshold. Let's say last year you have a team of five people or something, you sell some game or whatever for a million or for 900,000 and you pay 15%, so far so good. And if you ever 
cross the threshold from then on or the next year or whatever, you pay 30. This might be the difference between um, for a team of, of five or 10 people, um, this your salary and running costs, this might actually very well be you uh, break even or you make loss. So um, just around the threshold, um, it's a little bit of an edge case of near. Yeah. And again, 15% still on, I would even argue because so many people say, yeah, this is now amazing. 15% is in my opinion, I would give Apple of credit card processing. Besides, I, I totally don't support the centralized app store control stuff um, in any case. But aside from this, I would argue Apple does not deserve much more than credit card payment processing fees, uh, which might be one to three percent, maybe double this. So if it's something expensive of three percent credit card processing stuff, which usually you don't, but let's say it is then let's double this for some added profit there at Apple's side and call it 6%, 15% still uh, over twice uh, that. I would argue of all the PEM processing fees, 15% uh, still on the high, um, high, higher end, so so much to 15%. Sure, it's a progress. Um, the whole previous video centralized review and maintenance stuff, not amazing. Um, and for big corporations, the last unfair thing is if you are a really big team, let's say, um, well, Adobe and Microsoft certainly can afford it, theoretically, I guess. But let's say you start like we here with some small team of five people. And after some years, you are 10, you make a million or two. And 30% is really a lot, right? 30% of a million is 300 freaking thousand US dollar. Let's say you make two million that is um, 600,000 uh, US dollar, right? This is a freaking whole lot of money. And if you have a team of 10 people, um, some developers, some support, some marketing, like previous video marketing, right? Because Apple is doing no marketing. Um, all of this you need to do yourself, maybe some advertising, you, maybe you spend uh, certainly some 100,000 uh, for the salaries multiplied by all those developers and support and stuff. Um, and maybe you rent, maybe maybe not rent, but maybe rent um, certainly hardware expenses and other expenses, and then some hundred thousands for advertising of whatever sake, then uh, 300, 600,000, this kind of 30%, one or two million revenue. That is a whole freaking lot of money. And Apple, again, Apple is not really doing a lot. The fanboys on forums always say, but they host this and they review this like, what first of all i would argue the reviewers verse shit uh, mostly to make sure they no, nobody scams them here with multiple accounts out of their 30 percent um, and not losing a sense there virus and malware wise there is next to nothing in terms of review also stuff is previously of but security 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 this all the apps are sandbox now right so much to what is what does Apple need to review if the apps are sandboxed? So it's like, yeah, in my opinion, and uh, from a million, right? If you would think Apple is so generous, they, they as I said, it's a higher end, right? If you make a, a million or close to a million um, and you only, only pay 50%, it's 150,000 US dollar, right? This is still a whole freaking lot of money for Apple providing a glorified download service stuff. Would you ever, if you have a small company of a team of five and stuff making a million, um, would you want to pay 150,000 US dollar just on, on host cloud services for your application download? I would normally not think so, but leave in the comments what you think. Just wanted to provide this amazing insight of um, Apple's who will bitch uh, app store small business program hope you learned something leave in the comments below what you think and um, have a good day and night and weekend to come